Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a new video. It has been a while. I'm sorry about that. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a bit. I just haven't had any ideas of what to record. Uh, and I've been really busy just hanging out with family and stuff like that. It's the end of the summer. I'm trying to get in as much as possible. So, I wanted to make a video that has been very much a request over the years. How to modify strings on IL to CPP based Unity games. This is a very simple process I actually figured out. Um, I asked around and nobody seemed to know how to do it. So I took it upon myself to do some basic research, open up some files in a hex editor or notepad plus plus, and I figured it out. Now the thing with this is it is not case sensitive, but character number sensitive. So if you have a word like that, let's say, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters. So it's seven characters, which means you have to replace it with another word that's seven characters. So you can do, because it's still seven characters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you go. Now I'll show you how to do it and I'll explain it as we go through it. The best use that I've found for this so far is telling a game to look at a different server. Um, for example, if you're designing a private server like we kind of did with 1320 Challenge, um, I guess it's not really a private server when the original server doesn't exist anymore. I don't know. I don't know the definition of private server, but this is how you do it. So instead of modifying the il to cpp.so file, there's no text in here. If you open this up and you search, I'm using Racing Rivals because I know it well. If you search Live 71, nothing comes back. Live 71 is the part of the URL that uh, begins the file format. So, or the, uh, is the first part of the URL to look at the server. Oh my God, sorry, brain fart. You actually modify the global metadata Dot .dat file. So what you want to do is you open your APK, go to assets, bin, data, managed, metadata, and there's your global metadata dot .dat. You simply want to extract that. As you can see, I already do have it extracted here. So this is the one I'm going to use to modify. So what you want to do is open this up in Notepad++. And most of it looks like junk. But if you scroll far enough or you search, you'll start to see text. Now you have to know what you want to modify. You can't just come in here and start modifying willy nilly. It's not really gonna show you anything unless you know what you're modifying. So what you wanna do is come in here and just figure it out. And I really wish I would have realized this back when Racing Rivals first or was still up and running because there's actually a lot of stuff you can do in here with just string modification. Kitty cat, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Are you good? You're the quiet one. It's the cat that's gonna bring a gun to school. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's gonna offend somebody. So what you wanna do from here is search what you wanna search for. Search for what you wanna modify in the game. So as you can see, I haven't really come across anything yet. But what I'm gonna do is scroll back up to the top Again, this is pretty difficult only because digging through without knowing what you want to modify ahead of time is going to make it difficult. But you go live 71 is what I'm looking for. There it is. So the one thing I like to do when I'm doing this is not highlight it because in at least in Notepad++, you're going to have a hell of a time doing this if you're trying to do it in normal Notepad. Trust me, download Notepad++. Um, the thing with this is when you try to highlight code in Notepad++ and you have lines like this that go on forever and ever like you can see here, you're just going to have a bad time. Don't highlight and try to copy and paste it. What you want to do, at least this is what I do to keep it simple, live71.fuel.cgames.com. Very simple. That's 26 characters. So we want to replace it with something that is 26 characters. Now, that's really difficult when it comes to a web URL, but luckily DNS redirects exist and we don't really have to work too hard. So if I were to set up a server for Racing Rivals, which I'm not saying I'm doing, um, this is literally for this tutorial video, I own the website techx.onl. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine characters. I need to add 
uh, 17 more characters. I almost said 27. Jesus Christ. So if I wanted to add that, the first way I like to do it is since I'm doing DNS uh, refor uh, forwarding on my web domain, I could do something like live71.fueled and that adds, hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Need to add three more characters. So we'll do bt.live71.fuel.techx.onl. And that is 26 characters. So you want to simply copy that, go to replace all, and you want to do live71.fuel.techx.onl. Oh, wait, nope, sorry. Live71.fuel.cgames.com. And then replace it with your bt. Well, replace it with whatever yours is. In my case, I'm replacing it with this URL. Go replace all. It'll replace everything. And save your file. Once you save it, you can simply go in, copy it, put. Oh, don't don't take that as like anything. It doesn't mean anything. Um, open your APK. Go to Assets, Bin, Data, Manage, Metadata, and replace this one with your modified file. From there, you can compile, or you can uh, close up the APK. You can go in, and I actually don't want this modified. Uh, you can go in and sign your APK to work on non-rooted devices or on emulators, or you can go in and uh, just install it on your rooted device that has the bypass to allow unsigned APKs. But that's literally all it takes for basic string dip, uh, changing in um, IL to CPP modding. There's nothing involved with hex editing on it. And there's actually a lot that you can do in a global metadata file. So what I wanted to, when I said this could be useful, Racing Rivals ran on kind of like an internal server. So it had all this fueled stuff. Um, as you can see right here, it's fueled colon slash slash garage and then this quick tune install thing. So that's telling the game to call this function, this LOC quick tune, and then this was a variable number that would change. So as you can see, it would call that on the internal server of the game, quote unquote, and then do the action that it needed to do. Um, let me find one that actually makes sense here. Uh, fuel dealership route car sale type. So this is getting whatever kind of sale there is. Um, that's a race select lobby controller, so that would be selecting what kind of race there was. I could change this stuff to whatever I want as long as it's the same text length, and I wish I would have realized this sooner, and done things I wasn't meant to do probably in IL to CPP. But again, every game's a little bit different, but that's your basic way of changing text strings in IL to CPP. Now there are I'm sure there's a way in the IL to CPP file if there's a string there. I personally don't know it. I will be upfront and honest with you that I do not know that method. But this is at least a start. If I figure it out, we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys learned something. Um, techx.onl is going to be going through a little bit of a refresh, so pay attention to that website. I might be moving all the sinful Android stuff over there. Um, and we'll talk later. I'll see you guys. Peace out.